Welcome to the first exercise in the Distress Tolerance module. Many of us have mixed feelings when it comes to changing a certain behavior that is not very good for us. For example, say you want to start eating more healthy, but you don't want to give up that delicious Ben & Jerry's ice cream with the salty caramel. We've all been there. It's not easy to change a habit that you've had for a long time, but it's doable. Today's exercise will help you look more closely at the costs and benefits of a behavior you wish to change. This is a good first step to assess the situation and motivate change. Let's start. First, I want you to think of a problematic behavior that you wanted to change for some time now. Maybe you already tried to do that in the past but didn't succeed. Next, print out the worksheet we have provided so you can easily fill in the table. At the top of the table, write down the habit you wish to change. There are four types of information you'll need to write. Write down every negative consequence that results from your bad habit. Write down everything you can think of. Take your time and brainstorm. Start with what's obvious to you and then try to add costs to your list. Now, maybe you're not used to thinking this way about your problematic behavior, but in time you will become more familiar with this format. After each statement you write down, think of how important that reason seems to you and give it a number on a scale of 1 to 5. For example, I wish to start eating less junk food. The cost of eating junk food would be it's not really healthy and nutritious, I'll give that a 5. My energy crashes after the meal, I'll give that a 4. It's addictive and sometimes I eat too much, I'll give that a 4 also. Now write down the benefits of your habit. Usually these so-called benefits are short-term rewards that makes us feel good in the moment. But in the long term, they might do us more harm than good. After each statement, think of how important each benefit is to you and give it a number on a scale of 1 to 5. So, the benefits of eating junk food would be It tastes good, so I'll give that a 3. It's fast and I don't have to cook, so I'll give that a 4. It's easy to find the fast food place when I'm out, so I'll give that a 2. Changing our behaviors requires putting the effort and energy, which is not always an easy task. In this part, I want you to think of the costs of engaging in a better alternative habit instead of the one that is not good for you. I would write about the costs of eating more healthy. I'll have to cook more often. I'll give that a 3. I'll miss eating fast food. I'll give that a 3 also. It doesn't taste as good although I haven't tried to find good recipes. I'll give that a two. <music> Lastly, think of all the benefits you'll gain for changing your habit and doing the alternative behavior. Be creative, have fun, and try to visualize the benefits. For example, I'll have much more energy. I'll give that a four. I'll be more healthy and my immune system will be stronger. I'll give that a five. I'll prevent many diseases. I'll give that a 5 too. I'll enjoy cooking fresh food. I'll give that a 3. Good job! This is a great start if you wish to change a habit that is not necessarily good for you. If you compare the importance points, you will probably notice that the costs of doing the bad habit and the benefits of doing an alternative habit are much higher. This was cost-benefit analysis and I'll see you in the next video.